Hey guys, what's good? It's me, Jay Lee. You're watching Jay Lee Sees, and today, Jay Lee Sees The Walking Dead, Season 11, Episode 15. I swear to God, I thought that was Eugene for half a second. So, let's just run through this one more time. Make sure I got it straight. You went in, things got tense, firefight broke out. Then the people here killed every last one of our trained, armed, and armored soldiers, but not you two. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's your story. Yeah. Do you believe it? It's basically <laughs> yes, yes. What do you think about all this? Sounds believable to me, babes. That's what they say happened, that's what happened. Mm-hmm. Maybe. It also doesn't make sense for the two of you to lie to protect a bunch of crazed, violent strangers. Unless they weren't strangers. Are you calling us liars? Oh, let's beat him. We're not going to take the fall for this. Mm. We ain't no commonwealth, easy to manipulate bitches. Those monsters are on the loose, we need to smoke them out. We'll start with the hilltop, see if our friends heard anything. At the very least, they should know, there's some very dangerous people who might be coming their way. Uh-uh. Better suit up, soldier. Do not tell us what to do, that sounds like a threat. Also, so, guys, remember, of course you remember, you even know how it plays out. The six month time jump where Daryl and Maggie are like, what is you doing? It doesn't have to be like this and yeah, it does and all that. I've decided off camera while I was editing, I actually think there is going to be a plan afoot when that happens because Maggie and Daryl are still in cahoots. So I do not think they're going to be disagreeing really. Well, I hope not anyway. We're just trying to lower Lance's guard, make him trust Daryl. And then, when he's at his most vulnerable, they're going to pop his head off. An ode to Alpha. Mm. Yes. Good this is what I am saying. We're pretty awesome at this sex thing. And I should know I've had a lot of sex in my life. Oh my god, I don't think you should say things like that as pillow talk. Do you even need sleep? Because every time I roll over, you're just lying there staring at the ceiling. Uh, really? That's the problem. We should look into that. What's the deal with that? Is it some kind of meditation? Maybe I'm just basking in the afterglow. All night long? How fucking good is she? But it didn't really look like basking, more like stewing you getting at something no what's on your mind babes totally but if there was anything you needed to get off your chest um maybe that i murdered two of my men that's probably late's heavy quiet on the soul Oh, all the investigators are together. We thought it would be beneficial, given your position as a truth-telling news person, to give you the deets. What's the scoop? Sebastian and some of his cronies forced Daryl and I to steal cash from an abandoned house outside the perimeter. There was a woman there. They had done this before. They had sent civilians in, and none of them made it out alive. Oh, we're going to spill the tea all over the shop. Someone sent us a list of names of people when the ex-trooper went missing. We tried to figure it out, but we just kept hitting dead ends. Oh, there's an April on the list. That could be her, right? I see that. Why is she on the list? What is this list? Maybe it's related, but there's something else going on here. Uh-huh. Whatever this is, if the Miltons are involved, they'll keep it locked up. We need inside access to dig it out. We need Mercer. 
A Max. I might know someone. Oh, yes. You got everything you need? I think so. Good. And I'll make sure RJ gets to his classes on time today. Oh my god, I didn't even remember that they went to school. <laughs> Recovery's going well. Still got a ways to go, but prognosis is good. Healing well. I've been busy. Yeah? Yeah. You took your words to heart about doing something extra with this time I've been given. Mm -hmm. I'd love to show you if you're free. Oh, I want to see. I just have some things that I need to figure out first to fix. Uh, it's better that you don't even know about it. Okay? Just oh, that makes him want to know about it. <clears throat> I mean, I don't even know the full scoop, but I think it has something to do with heroin. Brain check? Guaranteed. I'm getting healthy again. You're stuck with me. Yay! I guess I can look at that. Yay! Why don't you two take care of this? Are you serious? We have to save our ammunition. I was told you can handle yourselves. Uh, do not just assume I'm going to do all this shit for you. You is not my boss. I am not on your payroll. Why is you looking like this? Oh. oh, now he knows how efficient we are. I barely broke a sweat. Mm. Nice. Mm. Come on, let's keep moving. Uh huh. All right, I'm ready for it. I ain't ready, but I'm gonna try to be ready today. It's a bad time. Not oh, the best apparently time. so. This is about a friend of mine. She's sick and can't afford the treatment. She needs a small procedure. If we can take care of it outside the system. What well, sort of procedure? Appendectomy. What the fuck did you just call me? And I understand the risks. She does too. I wouldn't ask if this wasn't our best option. We're gonna be doing some back alley procedure. I lost a patient this morning. This man, he didn't even want to be a doctor in the first place and now he's doing overtime. You want me to look for secret files? Yes, and steal them. We're supposed to be staying out of trouble, not looking for it. But it's so fun. Rosita was forced into this situation by Sebastian. Wait, this involves the Miltons? A young psychopath, at least. <laughs> People have died. More are missing. Your brother can corroborate. Michael? He was there, too. <laughs> Michael? His name is Mercedes. Uh, uh, Sorry to interrupt, ma'am. No, not at all. Nah. Any kind of construction worker, cleaner, plumber, I do not trust from this point onwards. It don't have to be like this. Yeah, it does. Good to see you again. I don't know anything about that. Well, of course not. So you wouldn't mind if we took a quick look around, right? Uh, fuck you, you where's your woman? For the paperwork. Where's the woman paperwork? So it tells me Lance Heavensby or whatever his fucking name is is not used to being told no. Let me do this. We go in, nobody gets hurt. Deal. Deal. Open up. It doesn't have to be this way. Hey, this is it. Six months later. Yeah, it does. Wink, wink, wink. Yeah. It does. Wink, wink, wink. Ain't wink. nobody leaving until they look around. Oh. It'll be quick, I promise. I ain't asking you to trust him. I'm asking you to trust me. 
Oh, this kind of throws away my hopes that this was like, I don't know, premeditated or we were in more cahoots than we actually are. Oh my god, we're letting them in. Can we not let them out? Let's kidnap these bitches. How are you okay with letting that little bastard walk free? Mm -hmm. I've got 50,000 other lives to think about. Oh, yeah. Please. So, I go after the kid. What happens then? We celebrate. And then what? What if I disappear? Who keeps this place running? Who is going to take on you, mate? You is like a massive slab of muscle. I'm shook to my core. They listen to you. They look up to you. Literally. I am just a soldier. But you could be so much more. He already you is. You could change this place. Maybe you are really just a poster. She called you a piece of paper stuck to a wall. Prove her wrong. And if you're sleeping with my princess, that makes you a prince. So be royal and do something. Why are we hiding in a hospital? It's like the perfect place to be, right? Perfect excuse. I'm a doctor. He's got cancer. Where else are we gonna be? Nice truck. Yeah, I come from a long line of gearheads. You mind? Is he still convinced we did the thing that that Lindsay did? She sure is clean for a truck that just sits here. Smash the bonnet on his head. Let's test it out. See if I've got the magic touch. Please blow up. Please blow up. Please blow up. Oh my god, could it actually possibly blow up? Oh, it still don't work. Ha! Carl's been out of action, mate. It weren't us. It was Lindsay. Get the fuck out of my truck. You and your people have till sundown. Then you can be on your way. Mm-hmm. We ain't scared of your shit-eating, grinny, smirky face, bitch. Mm-hmm. Lance Heavensby. Is it Heavensby? I don't know why I keep saying that. It must be. Anyway, bitch, you underestimated the opponent. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, why? Only because they were stealing some supplies. I mean, he works there. Ain't that the perks of the job? Every time I go to work, I always steal, like, the pens and shit. I don't even work with pens, but I take them anyway. I don't do well when confined. Don't, don't worry. I've got it handled. Unless you plan on getting into more trouble today? Hey, we already pulled you out of work. What's a few more minutes? What are we seeing? Llamas? Alpacas? Horses? It's still a time cavil! What? Wait, is this like a secret ward? It's not very secret though, is it? I, don't, I wanted to apologize. For earlier. This whole thing is new to me. And I, I don't want to... <laughs> Guys! You've only been hooking up for like five minutes. It's not that deep. We do not have to spill each other's secrets to each other. He looks so unwell. My men. Oh, I knew! I knew that's what he was tore up about. I had certain lines that I didn't let myself cross. Till now. I know. Sucks for you, sis. But it benefited us. I'll do it again. Good. 
That's what I need to know. Have you got my back? Is you my ally, sir? Maybe this place needs something else. Maybe I'm part of the problem. Then make yourself part of the solution. Go inside and we figure it out together. Oh, he was crying and everything. The sad sack of shit, bless him. Hey. Herschel, right? I'm Lance. Don't know if you remember me. Nah, we do not talk to no strangers on this day. How about your mom? Good lad. The last thing I want, Herschel, is for something to happen here. Especially to your mom. Uh-uh. So, I'm gonna need your help. Nah, you just threaten me. The truth, I can fix things. That's what I do. Don't listen to him. Is there anything you want to tell me? You're kneeling in dog shit, babes. I should probably go get my mom. Yes. <laughs> uh, first of all, get out of my space and do not touch me. If you're thinking about doing that. I found this hat all the way back where the bad things happened. Huh? I'll be damned. Perfect fit. What are the odds? Oh, yeah, oh. thank you. Get away from him. This guy put his hands on her. You said something bad was gonna happen. Oh! I think so. Back up! Now! I'm a nice guy, Maggie. No, he's not. I'll even let you back down. <laughs> no one gets hurt. Plenty of others have made the mistake of threatening my family. Most of them are dead now. Yes. Apart from Negan. So unless you want to die for nothing, tell him to drop the guns before something really fucking bad happens. <gasps> oh my god. He dropped the F-bomb. Yes. Back up. We're leaving. Yeah, you are. Sorry if there was any miscommunication. Shame we couldn't be friends. Oh. Oh. Is it? Is it, Mr. R, don't blink when I stare people down? Is it a shame, really? Where the hell is Negan in all of this? I don't care that he's shacked up and settled down with his new family. Fuck them bitches, I need him here. The years. The darkness. After everything. In the midst of everything, you're sitting here glowing. This light here came from a spark that you helped me find. Oh. You know that, don't you? Oh, it's so cute. You know we're not getting back together, right? <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, why would you ruin it like that? That's exactly what I was hoping in my head. Ezekiel, we need you back here. Oh, this is going to ruin my moment even more. We need to get her to a hospital. No, no, there's no time. Hold tight. Mm -hmm. It's like this. Get more goals. What? Well, we has not got trained hands for this. Why are we helping you? Oh, uh, what the fuck was that? Goals. Why is he performing surgery in such a dark room? Did we do it? We'll know more over the next 24 hours. <laughs> oh, just tell me now. If the stuff that you mentioned is happening here, it's bad. Mm -hmm. Really bad. Mm. It's not my intention to put you in a tight spot if this arrangement makes you uncomfortable. It does. My friends and I will find another avenue. No, Eugene, that's not what I meant. There is no choice because there is no back to normal. We know what we know. And we've got to do something about it. have to change. Yes! Whatever we find, whatever comes our way, you will not face it alone. I'll be by your oh. side, hell or high water. Oh my days, how is Eugene 
of all people, getting more action than the rest of us. That's two different women who pretend to be the same person, but he knows they're two different women in like the space of a week. Oh! We're here to talk. Is this Lisa? You are not easy to track down. But since you've caused me more than a handful of trouble, the least you can do is hear what I have to say before you kill us. Why is this man's plot armor thicker than the guard's actual armor? Talk fast. My name is Lance Hornsby. And I'm here to offer you a job. No, Laura, you can't just turn up at the end of every episode. Alright guys, that episode is done and dusted. Let's talk about it. So we are still on the hunt for the person who hijacked the Commonwealth's wagon. Lance is convinced he's going to find the answers at Hilltop. So he decides to raid it. And when he couldn't find no answers, he tried to manipulate little Herschel. But Maggie and the other adults, they were having none of it. And I think this episode taught Lance not to fuck with us, really. Daryl said he ain't going back to no Commonwealth. Maggie told him to get the fuck out of town. And even Lauren popped up at the end and shot a couple of guards in the foot. So all in all, he is not having a good episode. Unless he's found his new assassin. I don't know exactly what he wants with Leanne. But I don't want it. I don't even want her on my screen. Who I do want on my screen. And I might get on my screen for a lot longer. Because he is cured. Is Ezekiel. He is spending his new life. His new start. I think he's set up a secret clinic. At the vets. And Tommy. Tommy. Who, when we first met, he was like, I ain't telling anyone I'm a doctor ever. I do never want to do no doctoring. Not only does he do doctoring, he does doctoring after hours. Whatever happened to sticking to your guns? I thought this episode was going to be a lot more chaotic when the flashback scene happened. I thought, oh no, there's going to be carnage all around. But actually, our tribe handled it really effectively. The only slight issue that I have with the way that we went about this is we let this Lance live. Oh, my man, he has got it coming to him. You ever just know one of those people that just have a face that you want to punch? Quite like my face. Well, that is Lance. And I think between Eugene, Kelly, Connie, Max and Mercer, who are still within the Commonwealth, oh, we are going to dig and we are going to get some answers. So if you want to be with me while we get some answers and you haven't done so already, feel free to hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Down in the comment section, let's sound off about our hatred for that smirky bastard. And until next time, guys, stay safe out there.